everybody it's time at mixed up craft thank you for watching today so i had been looking on the arteza website and they kindly asked if i'd like to choose some more product so i thought i would try something completely different so as you all know watercolor is my preferred medium when it comes to coloring i really enjoy it and it's something i've used for many years um a lot of the youtubers that i follow are all more painters and artists and a lot of them use gouache or gouache and I thought, Do you know what, I'm going to give it a go. So I did, and I've been using it now for about a week and a half, and I'm really, really enjoying it. So for anybody that doesn't really know much about gouache, which I don't either, but the things I do know is that it is a, it's an opaque watercoloured paint. So it has a much, much higher pigment to normal watercolour. So this makes it great for layering and for reworking. So once it's dry, you can layer on top of it. And if you add more water to it, it will reactivate and you can then move the colour and you can change the colour and things like that. So it's really good if you, well, you'll see when I show the kind of drawings that I do later on, that if you make a mistake, you can change it and you can work it and it's quite hard to do that with watercolor but because i don't know just these just feel a little bit different so yeah until you start using them and if you've used watercolor then you'll you'll understand it more and i'm probably not explaining it very well anyway but i am decided to get the 60. so i was a little bit overwhelmed because there's obviously a ton of color there but i thought first of all i'm just going to swatch it all out now i swatched them as they came in the trays so they were all a bit I found them to be a little bit all over the place and I wanted to really be able to see like, you know, what yellow shades I had and what pinks I had and blues and things like that. So this is the initial swatch um, and you can see there it is all a little bit over the place. And then I went and done this. It's much smaller. It's compact. It fits in my little tub that I have for it all. And you can just see now I can see better. Like I've got my greens and my pinks, my blues grays i've also there have all the metallics mixed in so the metallics is a set of 12 which you can buy separately or if you get the 60 they're included so i did actually have the 12 and the 60 so i've got doubles but i'm going to do more i guess tutorials really using the metallics because i want to use them on some card cards that i'm going to make in the future the metallics are again very opaque but not as shiny i would say as my Kurataki, the Ganzai Tambi ones that I have. So if you want something that's more opaque than these are, but then the other ones I have, the Kurataki ones, are really shiny. So again, it's, it's down to preference really. And there are many, many more out there anyway. So yeah, here now you can just see everything kind of laid out much, much better. And it's just, when these dry, they dry darker or lighter depending on the shade to the color that they actually are so it's good to have the swatch so that you can actually really get an idea of how it's going to you know look once it's dry and it's a real matte finish as well and they dry really quick so <laughs> that's kind of what I know about them so I just thought you know I'm going to go straight into it so I started sketching out this oriental figure that I have and I was well I decided with these ones that I'm going to go in and use them in their I guess most pigmented form so I didn't use a lot of water so you know I just wanted to yeah just keep that opa opacity really so that's what I've gone for with this style so it was a little bit difficult for me at first to not be adding the water because that's what I'm used to doing and to have that flow of the paint but once I started to you know work them a little bit more this took me hmm, probably about an hour and a half I would say but as I'm doing it you will see <laughs> I go over a lot especially the hair the black I just couldn't I had my my kind of light source was all over the place because I had like natural light and then I had lamps and it just completely threw me so I ended up going back to it the next day and using more just natural light and it came much I think came out much much better so you can see here I'm just kind of I even go out I think I go over the face again in a minute as well but that's that's what I really enjoyed about this is that I could really kind of play around you'll see there I'm laying down this terrible highlight and then I just erase it again so you do have to be careful to not add too you don't want to go too thick because it will crack but it's really really it is fun to use so I, I've thoroughly enjoyed this so I'm just going to stop chatting for the minute and just kind of let this play it will also go on to my doodle and the doodle is using the paint in more of a watercolour form so what I felt a bit more comfortable with and then I'll come back at the end of the video.
Okay, so now I'm just finishing off my doodle and I bring in my Posca white paint pen just to add some highlight, just to kind of, yeah, just make things pop a little bit more. I really enjoyed both ways to use the paint and I think that's why I'm going to enjoy using it in the future. So it's something I think that maybe if you're in, if you really enjoy watercolour like myself, then I think this is a really good fun thing to bring in if you're someone that hasn't tried acrylics or oil paints and things like that because it's starting to get into more of a thicker medium. So it was really, really good fun. You can see here now in more of the, that natural daylight, the images there. And I just think for a first go, yeah, I was really, really pleased with it. So don't be afraid with these things. You know, I'm no expert on this whatsoever, but I think sometimes people do get scared by that. They see all these things and think, well, I'm, I'm not an artist. I can't do this. Well, that's just rubbish. You can use these any way you want, you know, and just play around with them. And the more comfortable you get with them, then you can start looking at them in, I guess, more of a way that they're intended to be used. You know, have fun at first and then look further. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. It's just a very quick kind of introduction into gouache paints. I'm certainly going to be using them more and I'm going to be bringing some nice card designs to you in the future. If you do like the products that I've shared today, check the links below and there will also be a 10% off coupon code, which I always share whenever I have any of the Arteza product. Thank you again to Arteza. And yeah, I'll be back again soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.